period poverty doesn't mean that it's an inability of people who are poor to afford period products it actually refers to a lack of access to anything related to periods be it the sanitation services the water supply the disposal system period poverty is real and it's not just about the inability to buy a period product but it is because of lack of knowledge lack of awareness and lack of acceptance to make a switch to a better option the moment the day a girl starts with her periods her life absolutely changes you know there are so many rules that uh, are new to her rule book now there are so many things that she needs to follow which absolutely make no sense to her at that time her mind is full of questions she has no idea why she should no longer go out to play uh, like she used to why she should not be playing with boys why she should stay in those and for so many girls um, and if we go by statistics 23% of them they'll be asked to no longer attend schools so uh, the moment you get your periods you know a girl literally the, uh, will look at the calendar days with a different perspective they are not allowed to have their bath they are not allowed to uh, step into the kitchen they are not allowed to move out of their houses uh, so this seclusion is real from time without beginning periods uh is not considered as a normal bodily function but it is considered a curse women in india have learned to accept these uh, situations these circumstances they adapt with whatever they are given uh, they rarely ask for choices and they usually you know get used to situations and stop asking for more or imagining that maybe there's something else out there Literally, in our experience, me when we go out and talk to these women on ground, we have got to know that who are their clothes are made in some kind of tandoor, in some kind of angiti, I mean, in the most dark place of the house, they are made. Why? Because no one can see them. Which, from a medical perspective, kind of uh, puts more harm to the health of the menstruator rather than good. One sanitary napkin costs, or like, is in the range of one to twelve rupees, uh, and an average menstruating woman uses some sixteen thousand sanitary napkins in her menstruating life, uh, which means they spend about sixteen thousand to lakhs of rupees on buying these products. In our on-ground experience, most of these families. uh do not have buying sanitary pads as their agenda or in their monthly budget it's not like government or other organizations are not doing anything to handle period poverty of course a lot has been done uh, there are uh, programs that provide free sanitary napkins uh, to women the problem with distributing pads is twofold number one uh, the usage of cloth or anything else which might be unsanitary it's it's not rooted in just uh, the finances it's it's also become a behavior that we need to target and behavior change requires us to work with communities and help them in understanding where the concern lies so that's one thing the second issue with sanitary napkins is uh, the burden it puts on the environment wherein one sanitary napkin uh, has plastic which is equivalent to four plastic bags and it takes some 500 to 800 years for them to decompose which means when all the menstruators who are on the face of the earth right now when they are gone washed uh, all the sanitary napkins that they'd ever used are going to stay here in some landfill in some ocean on some beach on like some uh, sea so uh, that is also one thing uh, you know that we figured is a problem so we needed a hero uh, and you know to address all these problems uh, we thought that menstrual cup is going to be that hero 
So when I uh, started uh, working with Serona and when I was introduced to the menstrual cup for the first time, uh, my initial reaction was that I need to research this. Like anybody else who would uh, hear about cups for the first time and the idea that you have to insert something inside your body, you'll be thinking twice. And as a doctor, I was thinking thrice and even more than that. Uh, so I started researching more about it. As a user, I found it fantastic. Uh, from the very beginning. It was absolute convenience. As a medical expert, if I am supposed to talk about it, if I am supposed to preach it to others, I need to be sure about it. We talked to a lot of international experts who were already doing this for decades now. My name is Janie Hampton and I live in Oxford in Britain and I'm a co-founder of the Menstrual Cup Coalition. A few years ago, I was at a conference in Nepal about menstrual health. This was mostly of women, but I met one man there called Deep, and he showed me that he had menstrual cups called Serona. And when people say that they have some cups, I always say, can you give me a few samples? And then I will share them with women who are used to using cups and they can review them and tell me what they're like. This is a quality cup at a sensible price. In fact, it's almost the lowest price I know. And I always recommend it because it's a good cup. It comes in different sizes and different colors. It has very clear instructions about how to use it. And Deep then went back to India and he started distributing them to projects around India, which is brilliant. The whole genesis behind Serona is that we wanted to solve unaddressed intermittent menstrual hygiene issues faced by women with our unique products by talking about these issues. And then the vision became that we'll break the stigma around intermittent menstrual hygiene and redefine femininity for modern times, you know, for women. And because that's the vision, there were many people who could afford our products and they were buying it, but there was still a large population, you know, just suffering from the same issues but had no products available to them. So we thought, you know, when you become big, all organizations go and have their CSRs. Why don't we start it right away? You know, so for people who can buy our solutions, we solve their problems with our products for a price. But we should also be able to work with those who do not have access, do not have, you know, whether it's products or it's awareness. We should start it from, from the word go. Uh, the idea of introducing cups in India uh, there was there was always some thoughts on our mind, uh, thoughts like culturally will it be acceptable, will women question the idea of insertion, uh, will the community accept it. Coming from a startup ecosystem, you are always thinking in terms of goals. Uh, of course, there's a mission statement and then, then there are things you want to achieve and in order to achieve those goals and keep them structured uh, you always work with numbers so it was very clear that we also had to figure out a certain number to chase and when we were discussing this uh, number I remember Deep getting up uh, with a pen in his hand and just writing one million on the board. So I remember once Dr. Diksha asked me how many you know what should be our target what what target should we take and this is when we had we were just inching about a million users of uh, the for-profit you know, uh, business, we had touched about a million cups sold. So we thought, let the number be a million, you know, uh, there are 400 million women, even at million, we'll be scratching the surface only, you know, there is, there'll be, uh, we'll not be covering much. So that's how million came in, that if a million women can pay for the service, for every woman who has a choice today, there must be at least 20, 30, you know, women each for every one sold, who doesn't even know what she should be using. While our number was now clear and the goal was clear, the uh, idea of creating impact was clear. Since we were already doing some projects, uh, therefore the training methodology was also clear. What we had to work on now was, where are these one million women? Uh, menstrual health uh, was one of the key concerns for us. These refugees uh, uh, have migrated uh, from rural part of Sindh, Pakistan, a very, very conservative. Uh, and uh, furthermore, women 
and girls were more uh, vulnerable they had protection risks there so they had very skewed gender relationship very patriarchal which continues it has on uh, uh, gone away but women's health reproductive health menstrual health all were not the priorities at all so uh, and we were desperately looking for support to work on these areas they were use, mostly using cloths because lack of income and lack of uh, information both were the factors no uh, so it was a useless expenditure uh, in the family the family men did not understand women didn't have <coughs> income of their own to uh, buy uh, sanitary napkins so mostly they used cloths and uh, since you have seen uh, signature bridge where there is no system of garbage disposal it was very uh, difficult and embarrassing for women to uh, <coughs> dispose of uh, the used uh, cloths usually they uh, threw it in the forest which caused uh, different kind of health and environment risks the female doctors of uh, sirona they were a great help no because they could immediately uh, uh, build a rapport a relationship um, uh, with the communities with the uh, women so usually how we do it is we do a little bit of our homework before going to the field uh, we learn a little bit about the community uh, especially from the people who are already working there on ground we do our uh, training session around menstrual cups we try to answer as many questions as i we believe that uh, would be on the minds of these women and we also encourage them to ask as many questions as they would like so that all their queries get answered usually after the training cups are uh, given to the women uh, to use in the men- next menstrual cycle and we do maintain a follow up of three menstrual cycles mujhe bahut badhiya lag raha hai acha hua jo hamare ko itna aage sikhaya hai dikkat thi jo nikalna padta tha ghadi ghadi kahan phekna padta hai jangal mein ye sahi hai jo la ke diya hai women got to, uh, awareness on personal hygiene which is for which 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 was not even the issue for them but then they realized that it was a problem and uh, it uh, 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 your team created awareness and now personal hygiene has uh, gone up पहले तो ये जो संजू वगैरह ना पैड वैड की बात करो ना ऐसे कान खड़े हो जाते थे और भाग जाते थे कि यार ये मामी ना फिर पैड की बात कर रही है वो यहाँ पे सबसे बड़ी फैमिली के साथ रहना सब अगल बगल कपड़ा कैसे सुखाए ऊपर और बच्चों के सब फैमिली छोटे छोटे घर है सबके साथ रहना वो पैड ला के छुपा रही है कपड़ों के अंदर रख रही है कभी कहीं रख रही है कितनी दिक्कत होती है और सबसे बड़ी उनसे घर डस्टबिन में तो फेंक ही नहीं सकते यूज करा है तुरंत ही तो पन्नी में कहीं बांध के फेंक के आओ इतनी दूर है इनका कूड़ेदान तो वहाँ फेंक के आना पड़ता तुरंत ही इनको जब पैड यूज करते थे तो उसमें ऐसा लगता था कि गन मतलब मेरे को इन्फेक्शन होता था पैड में खुजली होती थी और फिर उसको लगाकर और ज़्यादा होने लगती थी और जब से जब इसको यूज़ किया है या तो कोई ना कोई खुजली होती ना कुछ होता और ऐसा लगता है कुछ लगा ही नहीं रखा है So you know, as an entrepreneur, uh, our revenues give us a huge kick because we are trying to bring out solutions which are innovative for this country. When consumers buy those products, when we end up solving problems for them, it gives us a different high. Right? But nothing trumps the kind of testimonials we started to get on ground. I think that high I cannot describe in words. You know, when uh, the Sirona Hygiene Foundation goes on ground, goes in areas where. Uh, I don't know I mean if if we'd let our kids set even foot in even on a field trip to see how uh, you know things are on ground when these girls go there and talk to women and go there regularly and bring out stories of impact I'm telling you it's it's hair raising like I can still feel the goosebumps you know So I remember this one time that we got uh, feedback from the community uh, that uh, the this uh, this issue that unmarried uh, girls who are using our cups uh, they will have problems later on in conceiving or having babies jab hum cup lagate hain to hum lagate hain sirf niche ke raste mein bachche dani mein cup nahi jata bachche dani to upar hai jahan pe bachcha thehrega aur jin dinon mein mahina aata hai un dinon mein to waise hi bachcha nahi thehr sakta uske thode din baad bachcha thehrta hai 
और जब बच्चा ठहर जाएगा उसके बाद कप लगाने की जरूरत ही नहीं पड़ती इट वॉज वेरी एनकरेजिंग टू सी दीज यंग लेडीज टेक दिस आंसर सो लॉजिकली and then take it back to the community to uh, explain it to the others who were spreading this myth i don't believe there is any method to this madness uh, the intent is there what started with the vision of uh, this two three people you know who started uh, serona uh, was then taken over by other today we are about 100 what started as just a normal paid forward was made into a foundation by dr diksha and now is being taken forward by dr arushi so people will keep coming in and the mission will keep becoming bigger we started with this saying let's do 100 let's give out 100 cups only with no formula to this then we said let's structure it and give out 1 rupee from every product sold to the foundation which will then go on to do 10000 the once we achieved the 10000 milestone in terms of educating these women we thought this is nothing you know we need to take it to 100000 then it became a million so number is more about you know how many people will keep joining us in this mission and the number will keep on moving because the mountain it's a big mountain to climb right like i said 400 million women and period poverty happens even in the most educated of households today so uphill task can't do it alone would need a lot more partners to come in our team is absolutely fantastic and passionate far better people than all of us put together in the sirona hygiene private limited part there are far better people in the foundation and that's all that is required right for a, for a mission like this what you need is passion we have a lot of it